Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading for Aquarius. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius regarding love? But time is fluid, so for Aquarius. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Love. We're going to look at uh, past, present, future energies as well as how you are feeling or thinking about each other. So let's get right into it. Past energy, please, for Aquarius. Okay, the High Priestess in the past energy, secrets, mystery. What's the energy for Aquarius? This one. What's the energy for Aquarius? The Hermit reverse. Four of Cups reverse. Current energies, please. What are the current energies? Nine of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles reverse. What are their energies? I'll move these over. Death reverse. Scorpio energy, Eight of Cups reverse. My goodness. This is someone that wants to return, um, but I feel like you're both feeling the same way about each other in the sense of like, or maybe not, maybe it's completely different. Um, I feel like this person, they want to return to a situation that for them is not over. And you are having a change of heart about something. You're changing your mind about something. But I see you kind of closed off. Maybe you cut off communication. Maybe you stop talking to this person. I feel like you're free and this is someone that's still holding on to you. That's what I'm feeling. Like there's like a, like a back and forth. This could be reversed as well. Near future energies. What are the near future energies? Oh, okay. Empress reversed. Interesting. get some romance angels to get some more energies here tell me more about this connection spirit what is the overall energy What's the overall energy honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together What's the overall energy children your love life is being affected by children. This could also be like very childish energy. But what I'm getting here is that there's a distance here. Uh, maybe an emotional distance, a separation, or like physical distance. Some of you could have children, but I don't immediately think of children when I get that card. In the near future, I just see this Empress Reverse as someone who is not very happy um, typically they are not able to grow or manifest something or there's delays in growing or manifesting something um, they could be upset so we're gonna have to clarify and see now remember this will not resonate with everyone it's a general rating so if it does not resonate at all check out my playlist for Aquarius you can get to that by clicking on my username here and it'll take you to the playlist for Aquarius and you can um, look at a reading there that speaks to you that might resonate more let's clarify let's get more insight and then we're also going to get some insight into your energies for each other let's start with this high priestess though why is the high priestess here The hangman reverse. Tell me more about this high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? Okay. Page of Wands kind of wanted to come out. So I feel like someone wants to talk, wants to speak up. Perhaps they don't have the courage. Strength reversed. Tell me more about the high priestess. I feel like you haven't been talking to this person 
or if you have been talking to this person, it's like a very cold communication. Tell me more about the High Priestess. The Empress Reverse. Okay, so yes. I feel like whatever's happening here, there's someone that's not happy. This could be you. This could be a third person. There's someone that's not happy. You could have, again, I, I, you could have blocked this person. Um, I have the High Priestess reversed. <laughs> so this is all connected. I feel like, um, wow, and after that, the Five of Wands. Conflict, arguments. You could have had a lot of arguments with this person. Maybe you don't want to hear from this person. Maybe you sp you block them with a purpose, or perhaps they piss you off and you just kind of cut them off, or something must have happened here, some sort of drama. Maybe you, you found something out. Maybe a secret came to light and it was disappointing or hard to deal with. And I don't know, maybe you found out through a message. Something happened here in the recent past that kind of like, I don't know, it's like someone shut themselves out. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles reverse. What's the present energy between you? Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Five of Cups, uh, yeah, Five of Cups. Disappointment, regret, mistakes. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles reverse. Ten of Wands. There's the Eight of Cups again, reverse. Yeah, this is someone, I feel like they're not doing well without you. And then I have the Seven of Pen of Wands. I feel like this is you kind of resisting this in some way, resisting their return, or perhaps this is someone that is kind of weighed down by what happened. Um, this could also be you feeling this way, missing each other or missing one uh, the other person. There's regrets here, for sure. So let's see, how are you thinking or feeling about each other? Using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck, this is listed down below if you're curious. Um, to get some more ideas of how you are, what's the energy that you're both bringing to this connection? Spirit for Aquarius, please. What's the energy that they are bringing to this connection? Maybe a Victory lap, success, recognition, triumph. You're being recognized and admired for your success. So what I'm seeing here is that this person probably sees you as someone very successful, this nine of pentacles. Maybe they're attracted to you. Maybe you're doing very well. Maybe you're focused on your own success. Maybe even you want success with this person, um, but I'm picking up the other one, the other energy more. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What are their energies? The energies that they're bringing. Inner voice. That's that High Priestess card. Intuition, guidance, answers. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path. I feel like this person knows. Like they're not ignorant of what has happened. Um, I have at the bottom of the deck, falling leaves, time changes everything. Maybe their intuition has spoken to them about this situation and, and for them it's not over or they re re are resisting this being over because there's regrets here. Tell me about the Hermit Rev. Now, Aquarius, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped. So feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Tell me about the Hermit Rev. Queen of Wands kind of fell out. She turned she turned over. The Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse with the Anxiety, fear. Six of Cups. Wow. Six of Cups and then the Two of Cups reverse. So I feel like there has been some sort of separation with a soulmate. Perhaps, you know, what I'm getting here, it's almost like what happened in the past you're having some sort of maybe there's resistance to your feelings about the past or you don't want to feel what you feel 
um you don't want it's very interesting energy i feel like a like a, um maybe you act very confident or like you're doing well like you have it all together but inside you're still dealing with the past in some way that's kind of the energy i'm picking up tell me if that's resonating down in the comments I feel like this is someone, you, you might be very successful, independent, free, and on the outside, everything looks great. But I feel like when it comes to what happened with this person, there's some emotional ties there. This person could also be stressing you out in some way. Tell me about the death card with the Eight of Cups Reverse. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is someone that wants working on bringing something together, making something happen, being very patient. Tell me more about the death card. Reverse with the eight of cups reverse. The sun. Interesting. All major arcana so far. Can I get one more? The Emperor, yeah, this person, all major arcanas, page of swords at the bottom. Like this person is wanting to talk to you, has their eye on you. Um, they have clarity about what they want and it's probably their intuition that's talking to them. They wanna take control of the situation. They, they're focused. Could be dealing with a fire sign. I have all three here, <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's see what this person is secretly thinking or feeling about you. I'm going to use my Secret Moon Oracle deck. What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Aquarius? And interesting, I have the Emperor on their end, but I feel like you're the Empress Reverse. Or that could be somebody outside of you. You could be this Nine of Pentacles and then there's an Empress Reverse. Take it as it resonates. What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Aquarius? Oh my God, we got the two right there. I have a lot on my plate and I'm working on myself. Yeah, this person's focused on something. They're making, they're wanting to make something happen here. What's at the bottom of the deck? I want you. Okay, well that's what they want. <laughs> Okay, it's funny because I was like, they want something and the spirit's like, <laughs> hello, Aquarius. All right, tell me about Empress Reverse. Is this in the near future here? Why is the Empress Reverse? The Empress Reverse. I feel like this is very important here. Ten of Pentacles, wow. Why is the Empress reverse? Seven of Cups. Hmm. Nine of Wands reverse. Got this, the strength card reversed again. Leo energy with the king of wands reversed. Again, king of wands reversed and then I have the queen of wands upright. There's a disconnect between you. I don't know if it's because you are resisting this or because something is, is blocking this for both of you, but there's, there's a disconnect, like a line between you. I feel like this emperor is reversed. Um, this could be somebody that is in a long-term commitment. So if your person's in a long-term commitment, he could they could be married to an empress already that they wanna leave behind. That's one possibility. Another possibility I'm getting here is that you are not interested in wishy-washy, confusing energy. You know what you want. You want long-term stability and commitment and you're not gonna take anything less. <clears throat> I'm getting that this Empress reverse, um, there's a baggage here. Trust issues with the Nine of Wands reverse. There could be uh, paranoid defensive energy. 
Um, this is someone who perhaps this person wants something with an empress and the empress is already done and this person is still kind of pushing for it. I see all of those possibilities. <clears throat> Tell me more about this nine of wands reverse. Why is the nine of wands reverse? The higher font reverse, yeah. Taurus energy. I feel like this is something a uh, commitment that is broken or was broken in the past. And it's like there's possibly um, guarded energy or delays regarding that. <clears throat> Tell me if that resonates for you down in the description box. I still am picking up. Some of you are definitely this Empress reversed and you're not, you know, in the near future, this is a situation where someone has options or, or a cup they want to make. And like they want to offer a certain cup to this empress to kind of uh, bring about some sort of peace. Tell me about the seven of cups. This is options, choices, illusion. Why is the seven of cups here? Eight of pentacles. Yeah, someone's working on this. This is what this person's working on. They're working on an, uh, making or giving a cup to an empress, possibly, or they're working on a different possibility. For example, uh, if this is someone that's breaking a commitment, um, they're working, getting all their ducks in a row to have a new opportunity or choose a different path for themselves. Uh, they're looking for a different opportunity here. Or they could be working on bringing the right cup to this empress because they want to impress this empress or return to this empress. So take it as it resonates. I could go both ways. Uh, thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes. For anyone that comments, I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to support the channel for free, consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It helps out a lot. And lastly, I just want to say uh, a huge thank you to all my viewers that continue to watch the channel, who show their support through the comments sections and who can, you know, just come back and leave me nice comments and continue to watch. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for your continued support. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care. Take care. Take care.